Everyone gets stressed, but today I want to cover a bunch of different ways that we can overcome that. The first way to reduce that stress is by playing the guitar. I've had this since I was a kid. I've played it for a long time. My dad got me this guitar in elementary school and I've had it ever since and I absolutely love it. I haven't played it recently because, you know, I've been busy with all this and I love listening to music. I listen to all kinds of music. I like R&B. I like rap. I like hip hop, all that different stuff. I would say with music, that's a great outlet and that's going to help you relax, help you think about other things. Even sometimes with music, it can be really, really motivating. So you can find different things that's going to push you to keep going and to keep striving to be a better person. And I know with stress, a lot of the times it's just putting pressure on yourself. With stress, you're setting such high expectations for yourself, telling yourself, you know, I got to be this or I got to be that or I don't have this or I don't have that. But at the end of the day, you got to remember that your journey is different from mine. The second way to reduce that stress is by playing sports, doing something active, find a sport you love or something that you can do around the house. And that's going to best suit you, you're going to be able to succeed succeed because activity is what's going to keep you going and it's going to up your energy. It's going to make you feel better. You're going to be more happy. I love sports because it's a great way to get that teamwork involved and just have a good time. You also meet new people. You make more friends. Who knows? Maybe you'll love it. If you don't like sports, or the gym and you want to still be active then i would say do work outside you know cut the grass get that garden work in work some branches i want you to be happy i want you to find something outdoors to do that's going to keep you active so we don't have those excuses stretching always helps me cool down and feel better i love to stretch 10 to 20 minutes per day sometimes even 30 minutes i recommend that you stretch your full body but usually if i'm training chest that day and shoulders then that's what i stretch so i can be ready for the next day and help that muscle recovery so i'd recommend for you find new ways that you can stretch more often and find things that you know that you need to stretch and get better at because if you're tight and you don't feel comfortable then that stretching is really necessary and it's going to help you feel better besides stretching on your own you could also do a yoga class you could get a massage gun you could go get a massage from a professional you can also get foam rollers there's a lot of different things that you can do to recover your body do the stretches that you know of and then look online and find different ways that you can stretch and help relax your body more there are a bunch of free ways that you can reduce that stress and stretching is one of them. Sometimes you just need to eat a snack. I'm going to be honest, if I could marry food, I would do it. I love dates. Leaving the environment is a great way to reduce your stress. So let's say I'm doing work in my room and I'm feeling stressed. If I get up and go to the kitchen or, you know, go outside and grab something or go to my garage and work out, you know what I mean? Leaving that spot, because if you stay in that same spot for a long time, that stress builds and builds and builds. Find new ways that you can go somewhere else and do something else. Because I know a lot of you are like, I got to stay in one spot at one time. That's okay. But you need to maybe stay stand up, move around, or, you know, switch the screen to something else. Don't just keep your eyes on that same thing for a long period of time because that's destined to stress you out. You need to figure out what's stressing you out. And that's why I like talking to myself because when I talk to myself, I go, that's what's stressing me out. And then I know, but if you keep pushing it away and procrastinating that, that's not what you want to do because then that stress is going to build and build and build until you really realize what it is, but it's too late. Less screen time. And I'm a creator. The phone is not going to help you become a better person. You know, it is definitely something that's going to stress you out at times. You're going to compare yourself to others. That's the thing with the phone that I don't like with screen time. It's not good to have too much fun by the way, PCs, TVs, consoles, all those different things. If you're always looking at a screen, that's taking away from your work as well. Social media is fake. Social media is the highlights of people. So you're seeing proper lighting, you're seeing the best cuts, you're not seeing the bad edits, you're not seeing their mistakes in the video, you're seeing where they look the best, their best angle, the best lighting, they probably have lotion on to look nicer. I know some guys use different oils to shine better. They have professional photographers, or they have the best editors, you know, they use even more lighting in, in Photoshop shop and stuff like that. So I don't want you to think that that's real. And then you start to compare yourself to that. And then you forget that you yourself are still a great person that you, you yourself are still capable of a lot. But if you start to compare yourself to these people that have literally like a whole team working for them, then you're not going to feel good about yourself. Obviously, and you're going to get stressed. I know as a creator, I will compare myself to other people and see, Oh, that's a great video idea. But I will not go Oh, you know, that guy's so much bigger than me, or that guy looks amazing, because then I know that that's just going to stress me out still post on social media, still check it, still do all the things you like to do. I'm just saying don't spend too much time on it. And also remember that it's not real. A healthy diet is a great way to control your stress. When I eat unhealthy, I don't feel good. I, I get upset because I know that it's not going to help me and it's going to make me more unfit. Now, however, I will still have cheat meals per week, one to two, you know, I'll still have enjoy myself. But when you do it too often, you start really eating unhealthy, it 
it's just going to make you feel worse. You're going to be less energetic. You're going to be more tired. You're going to be more lazy. It's going to be harder to reach your goals. So having a healthy diet will make you feel better. It's going to make you happier. It's going to help you have more energy. It's going to reduce your acne. I personally get acne when I start to eat unhealthy. So if you guys see any acne, it's because, you know, I'm enjoying myself. You need to get your calories in on a daily basis and a low calorie diet won't help. Some people need supplements and they talk to their doctor. For example, women might be low on iron, so they'll get an iron supplement. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I've only had coffee once. You want to reduce your caffeine intake because too much energy is not always good. You don't want to get too angry easily or you don't want to be too hot headed because with caffeine, it's always making you ready to go and more focused, more alert. You're more ready. Caffeine might make you too hyper or too upset. Caffeine can make it hard to control your emotions. Uh, with caffeine, you're going to want more and more and more and your tolerance keeps going higher and higher and higher. So you have to drink more caffeine and that's not what you want to do because then you're going to be more and more energetic and it's going to be so dependent. It's going to actually at times make you gain more weight. And if you take caffeine with coffee where you have creams and sugars, that's going to be worse. I'm a really big family guy. I love spending time with the fam. That's my thing. I love hanging out with friends. I've had the same five, six friends since elementary school. So I don't really switch up my friends group. I keep a really small inner circle, but I would say hang out with your friends and fam because that's going to be something that's going to relieve that stress. Your friends and family see you the most. So they know when something's going wrong. It's also amazing to hear them congratulate you or see how they're doing. And I just love to see them. If I'm stressed and I can't get a chance to hang out with them, I'll just give them a call. If you don't hang out with friends or family, you still need someone to rely on. I always go just on YouTube and there's always someone there just like me or, you know, something else that you can look online that's going to help you the same. So don't feel like you're alone. And I want you to understand that I'm here to help. It's important to know when to stop and understand boundaries and say no, because if you keep doing that work, you're going to get more and more stressed. Or if you keep doing that one thing that's really stressing you out, it's going to get you more stressed. Or if you keep avoiding it, it's going to make you more stressed. So that goes into procrastination. The more we push something away, the less it's going to help us. But the more we stay on something too, that's also not going to help us. So you need that balance of I did it done or I can't do it. I need to take a break on a weekly basis. I try to set realistic goals because I know I can achieve them and it's going to keep progressing forward. I'm going to keep trying harder and harder to get better. The goals are going to get slightly bigger, but it's at a gradual increase. Okay. And then there'll be weeks where I'm like, okay, I'm going a little bit too fast here and I'll take a step back. But I want you guys to always, you know, set goals that you know, you can achieve over and over again, those small goals, because when you set a really big goal, it's just too hard. There's nothing wrong with big goals, have a big goal, but maybe set it a year from now or six months from now, or have it in the back of your head, but don't keep it the main focus, have smaller goals that you know, you can achieve goals that are realistic meditate talk to yourself relax and you don't have to do what i'm doing right now i know i'm doing it wrong but what i want you to understand is that meditating or talking to yourself is totally normal and it's going to help you become the best version of yourself okay no one laugh i did that for you guys i'm stress-free now you watch this video all the way to the end thank you so much please subscribe comment and like